Okay, here's how I, uh, here's how I'm thinking about this uh, property. So let's see. So we come over here, can view the property online <clears throat> on their IMAP tool. This is the uh, parcel number right here, and drop that there. We can zoom in a little bit, and then we can turn on these layers up here. And unfortunately, let's see, that is as much as I can <clears throat> as I can zoom in there. Uh, so let's see. So it's hard to measure, but what I'm trying to do there's, there's this little measuring tool. Click here. Let me turn this one on. So you have that in feet. So I'll do the best I can, but, but you can see the chimney right here. And uh, based off of, let's see, where do we have it? Um, I guess we can go like this. We can look at the chimney there. I'm a little bit eyeballing it, but I'm guessing that chimney is about two feet uh, deep, I guess. Or maybe three feet. I don't know, this is hard to say. But then also, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm assuming that the eaves are two feet. The eaves hang off here two feet on, on either end. Um, okay, so we come back here. Uh, here we have this measuring tool. We go right to the property line. So what I want to do is get a dimension right from the property line to the edge of the eave, and then um, we can subtract two feet from that. So it's hard to do this, but put it right there, I guess. So if you look up in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, uh, I can't move my mouse or that'll throw the measurement off, but if you look in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you can see that it says 4.97 feet. So here I'll show you. It's going to be this number right here. So as I move this down, you'll see that number go down. So again, this is not going to be real accurate, but oh, it's just something around there, four feet, five feet. So, but whatever. Uh, so my thought then is from this measurement, if you take off two feet for the eave, then this, this uh, property line is actually going about two feet into the home. Um, and then I, I like to use, uh, let's see, we could look at Google Earth too. Actually, Google Earth has a measuring tool as well. You can try it here. Uh, let's see if I can get this to work. But you don't know where the property line is here, of course. But um, yeah, so it doesn't help too much. But I don't know. If the property line is like, let's say, right there, is that going to work for me? Sort of. So yeah, so that's saying about five feet, four feet. So it's somewhere four feet, five feet. So, so it's going to be two or three feet. Uh, the property line is two or three feet inside the actual home, not, uh, n not including the, the eaves. Um, so why does that matter then? What I want to do is figure out what is the square footage of the value of this home. So you look at Zillow. Um, So Zillow prices it like this. And if we look at the assessors, you can get the assessor value by going, here I'll close this, clear that. Just clicking on that and then going to the assessor's report right here, I'll pull that page up for you. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we see these values which amount to the 44 there. So there's the land value and then the improvements value. So those look like this. Uh, okay, so there's quite a discrepancy between this total 
and the Zillow value. So if I want to make a scale factor. Um, let's see, let's put this is um, the 183 for the land. improvements or excuse okay so so ha uh, so if we make a scale factor we would do um, this number divided by this number so you're gonna get 771. 615 divided by 44, and it's going to be about 1.59. Scale factor, did I do that right? So, 71.6 divided by 44, 1.59. So, the scale factor is 1.59. <clears throat> so, the so really, if you want to figure out what is the actual market value of the home itself you would take the this number and multiply it by the the home value is going to be this times the scale factor so it's times 291,000 and that's going to be this number uh, times the 1.59 equals 463 916 we'll say that's the actual home value so the what is the price per square foot uh it would be the home value divided by the total square footage which you can get over here uh, so that is divided by that's going to be about 223 dollars a square foot So, uh, so how many square feet are there? Um, that again, do a measurement. Uh, so we, we got the that one dimension. We say it's about two times whatever the length is. Which, uh, if you use Google Earth, it gives you from eve to eve. I don't know why this isn't working. Put it on this. Not working very well. Okay, so that's saying about 45 feet. So we cut off five feet for the eaves. So the actual internal dimension excluding the eaves is about 40 feet. So it's 40 by two. If you want to be conservative, you could say, you could say two feet. But remember, this one is we're saying that it's between two and three uh, times 40. Uh, equals the total square foot is going to be somewhere like let's say we'll call it 2.5 um, split it in the middle 2.5 times 40 is a, it is 100 square feet um, so the home value that I own is 223 times 100 uh, equals $22,300 Again, this is just back of the napkin. So that's for that's for just the uh, just the actual portion of the home that I own using market value price per square foot. And then you can do you can do kind of a similar kind of analysis for uh, the land um, for the land and come up with some number kind of somewhere around in like the I don't know seventy thousand or something for the for the land value and you add those two together and you get up to around hundred thousand dollars for for both of it. So that's that's kind of where I'm coming from.